Hello all, this is Gangnam, and I'm going to be showing you a little thing I've been working on in class. Now, um, I'm thinking about doing this um, more times where I will show what I've been working on in class or maybe something else that I've been working on that's really interesting and just kind of showing you guys what I've doing, what I've done with it and maybe ex and explain it a bit. So, right now I'm going to show you guys an odometer. And as you can see, the frame is set to 200 by 200 and we're initi initiating a frame called odometer. And so I'm just going to show you the panel real quickly. Um, we're using a flow layout, which is a common one. And we have um, we're creating a odometer that's called um, odometer. We're creating a new one. And then we're adding it. And then we're also adding a J button, and it, we're calling it step. And then we're even adding that one, and we're giving the button an action listener so that when you click it, it will um, do the method update for odometer. Now, odometer, it's a um, it's a class that I um, created all by myself. Um, so as you can see, we create the set the background to black. Um, we make the first label zero, and we set the font to serif and bold and at 75 size. Um, then we set the foreground to white which is basically the zero that you see and the background is black. Um, and then we also set the label to opaque so that you can actually see kind of the background. And then we add that and then we do the same thing for two of the two other labels. And then we're starting the count at zero, initializing at a zero. And now um, this was the challenging part. It took me a long time to figure it out. But basically, for the update, the count is going to be a string, an integer string, and what it's going to be whatever the label 3 has. And it basically goes like this is the 100s, 10s, and 1s. Um, so basically, um, in the 1s column, if the count is less than 9, then it will keep counting, and then the um, third 0 will... Um, be going up because it will be the string plus the count. However, when the count is um, not less than 9, in other words, 0, the count will go back to 0, and then the label through, um, will get the same text, so go like that. But then you're also changing the counts to be another um, integer string, and then this time it will be what label 2 gets. And so you're basically going to keep following that pattern until the last one where the label 1, if the count is less than 9, then you um, do the same thing. However, if the count is 0, you want it to go back to 0 so that you can just keep starting over. So I'm just going to run it for you guys. As you can see, there's th the three different labels. The label 3, label, label 1, label 2, label 3. And when you hit step, it increases by 1. As you can see, however, with the odometer, if you, I'm just going to show you guys what happens when you hit 1000. Uh, that'll be a good number. Let's compile that and run it. Then when you hit 1000, it goes back to zero so you can start back a little over. Um, so I just want to show you guys this. I hope you enjoyed this new video. And um, I hope to see you all again next time with something new. Thank you all for watching.